so Jamie asked me to talk a bit, little bit about something different uh, this year. Um, I'm looking around and I'm seeing so many, used to it was full of freshmen, sophomores at this camp when we started doing it and now it's very heavy junior, senior, late and, and I can tell that because I see a lot of very focused guys here who, um, you know, are dreaming a big dream like all of us did at some point. But I want to encourage you guys to keep a little bit of balance in your life. You know, right now is the time to be focused on this and, and if you're serious about it, it's kind of a lifestyle. Um, but I want to talk about giving and growing, okay? Uh, I was very fortunate to play for a really awesome guy in my senior year of college named Frank Gans, and he used to say, what you give will grow, and what you keep you lose, okay? That can go into any walk of life or anything you do, okay? For example, all these pro guys that come back every year on their own dime to come out in the middle of nowhere, Wisconsin, and get work together is not only to compete, I mean, we're here to compete against each other, but we're a family, right? If Marquette's got a question for me, I'm not gonna give him anything but the purest 100% answer to that. I'm gonna share with him what I believe, you know? If I've got a question for Matt Dar, he's not gonna hide what he feels or what he thinks is the right way to do something or his opinion on something to try and hold on to something for himself that's not gonna help him grow, okay? You may be sharing a little bit of knowledge with another guy that's helping him get over the edge in a certain area, but the more you do that in your life, the more it comes back to you. The more you give, the more you grow, okay? So, you know, the numbers say that most everybody here is not gonna make it professionally, right? That's just, that's why it's special and that's what the odds are. I would encourage you guys to understand your place in your college communities right now and to soak it up and enjoy it, you know? Whether it's doing stuff with your teammates, going to a hospital or, you know, feeding the homeless or, you know, there's so many areas of need in this world today. Our world is just a crazy place right now and it's just going to get crazier. And you guys can be a light to a lot of people. A lot of people follow you guys on social media and everybody's watching. All the kids, you guys all, most everybody here went through the scholarship camp at Jamie's. There's going to be 600 kids here tomorrow. Uh, that were in y'all's shoes that are following everything you guys say on social media, right? How do you want to be seen, you know? How do you want to be remembered, you know? It's nice to be remembered for being a good player, but it's really complimentary and really meaningful when somebody comes back and says, hey, you know, something that you helped me out with, something that was going on with my family or something that was going on in school that changed my life, that is what matters down the road. It's the relationships you build, right? So you guys should kind of view, y'all are all competing, but you guys should view each other as a family. You guys should share with each other, help each other become the best you can be, you know? You know, I've been very fortunate to have a long career so far and hopefully doing it for a lot longer, but I didn't get there by holding back. Jamie gets mad at me because he says I share too much sometimes, but that's, that's the way you should be. You guys need to all root for each other, encourage each other, you know? And, um, and, and being part of this family, like he said, he turned kids away from being here this week, you know, to keep it tight and because it's a special thing to be here. There's, there is, this is the best collection of college talent there has ever been. You could say that every year. Every year it's better and better and better, right? You guys need to use each other as a resource, but I would encourage you, don't be afraid. Human nature is to keep to yourself what you've earned. Pay it back out. You've got NFL guys that are here and guys with loads of experience coaching you, giving you a very affordable price to come as a college player. I remember what it was being like in college. I get it, right? Giving you an affordable camp to come to to compete against each other on this stage. Pay that forward, you know? Work with the young guy. If you're a senior, don't be afraid to coach up the young scholarship freshman that's beside you at your school. What a compliment it would be if he came through after you and broke all your records, you know? Don't leave, don't, don't leave, anything, out, leave anything inside. Give it out, share, work with your, whether it's guys here or guys at your school or your coaches or whatever. Don't have that mentality of keeping what's, what you feel is yours, okay? Because it's going to come to you, you know, what you give. So I just want to encourage everybody in that. Good luck. 
we're uh, every time I turn a college game on during the year, I'm like, dude, I met that guy at Coles. You know, everybody's pulling for everybody. You know, me and Marquette play game one this year. I hope he balls out. You know, that's the feeling I've got. You know, I hope he punts 15 times so we can win. <laughs> uh, but you guys get what I'm saying. You guys, we should be pulling for each other. This is a big family, man. This is a big family. Jamie was a groomsman at my wedding. This is my family, you know? So you guys soak that up. You're going to get what you give, all right? So good luck to you guys. Let's give a hand, guys.